We're here in our Caterpillar Next Gen wheel loader, and a great feature that we want to talk about today is a feature called Auto Dig. What Auto Dig will do with the machine is take over complete implement control and run the bucket through a complete dig cycle, which I can predetermine. In order to activate Auto Dig, I need to go into my menu, into my assist tile, I need to scroll down to Auto Dig, I need to make sure it's in the auto position. You'll notice I have dig efforts up here. I can adjust these dig efforts from one through five. I may need a higher dig effort if I'm in harder material to dig. I may need a lesser dig effort if I'm in some loose materials like sand or a wash stone. We're gonna start with dig effort number two and see how the machine performs in this fairly tough to dig material. You'll notice I have a set kick out button down here. So I can set the kick out for whatever height I desire in my auto dig. I wanna set it to about right there. I just return, set my kick out. Now this is only in the auto dig cycle that it's gonna use this kick out. If I turn auto dig off, it's gonna revert back to the kick out that I have set with my soft key. If I return home from this menu, auto dig will con continue to work as long as I have it on in the background. If at any point during the auto dig cycle, I need to take over, as soon as I give implement command, I have complete control no matter what part of the dig cycle it's in. So we're gonna demonstrate, we're in an auto dig effort of two. Our auto dig is on, so as soon as the machine detects a pile, it's gonna start in the auto dig cycle. You notice I'm not giving any command. The machine ran through a complete cycle. Remember, we're in dig effort of two, so this material is fairly hard to dig in. We're gonna adjust our dig effort to five, see what kind of fill factor we can get. You'll notice I'm not giving any commands. My hands are completely off the control. We got a pretty good fill factor that time on a dig effort of five. If I'm not happy with the dig efforts one through five, and I wanna do my own cycle, I can switch over to dig effort number six. You'll notice we have a record button that pops up. You can record your own cycle and the machine will replicate that every single time. I touch the record button, you'll notice a banner comes up telling me I need to record and I need to stop at the end of my recording. So I can hit the record button. Now any implement movement that I do when I'm in the pile, the machine is gonna record. You'll notice I'm giving all the commands. The machine is recording what I'm doing right now. When I finish my dig cycle, stop my recording. Now the machine has recorded all those movements and it's saved under dig effort number six. As soon as I return to the pile for my next bucket, it's gonna completely replicate everything I just recorded. Again, notice I'm not giving any implement command. The machine is copying everything that I've done in the previous cycle. You'll notice we got quite a bit better fill factor on that one using our own record cycle. If at any point in time I want to turn auto dig off and I want to have 100% complete manual control, I can simply return to my auto dig screen, going into my assist tab, scrolling down, go to my auto dig, you'll notice that it's in auto. I can turn it to off. Now I have complete 100% manual control. The machine will not take over and do an auto dig effort unless I return to auto dig and turn it back off. 